What is going on right today? We're reviewing the Target exclusive WWE Ultimate Edition Legends Undertaker figure. Now, if you missed our toy hunt from the other day, I was rejected of this figure. I found this figure on store shelves, tried to purchase it. Of course, it was street dated for the 21st, which means tomorrow you should be able to go into your Targets and actually buy this figure if you find it. But mine shipped out from Target.com. This is my pre-order. I'm super excited that it finally arrived at my door after being rejected, and I actually ended up getting it before the 21st. So we all win, I guess. But I'm actually excited for this Undertaker, and I think it could be, potentially the greatest Undertaker that Mattel's ever produced. And we're going to find that out here today as we do some comparisons and dive into it. I'll give you guys everything, all the lore. Get into some figure photography at the end. You can decide what you think of the figure, but I'm excited for it. It does have the red border as always, which means it is a store exclusive. Not in the main wave, which would be a white box with the red trim, but I like everything going on here. I am on the fence about a couple things and we'll get into it, but everything's looking good right here, man. Anything that has big gold Undertaker, you can count me in for that shish all day, but you have the Taker there. Nice shot of the Phenom right there, man. He looks amazing. Great. Good golly almighty. Got the yellow border, of course, and then on the back, you do get the prototype shot right there. Look at that right there, man. That looks like the damn Undertaker. Look at that. Then you got the Undertaker. You have the Undertaker there looking pretty good. You have the bio read. If you want to read it, you can pause it now, of course. Got some nice info. On the side, you have the Undertaker, and that is our packaging for the Dead Man. Now, again, this is Target exclusive, so you can't really get this anywhere else besides the aftermarket. But go to your Targets, man. It should be hitting, and you should be able to find it pretty good. I feel like most of the Legends figures are pretty obtainable. I don't think that they're hard to find. I'll tell you what is hard to find, the damn Monday Night Wars Ultimates. You can go the hell out in the yard, man. You ain't finding that shish. I know a lot of people have found it. I haven't, all right? I haven't seen Series 2 or 3 or the new Ultimate Eddie or Mankind, but I gotta build a bridge and get over it here today, so let's shut the hell up. Crack the Undertaker out of the packaging and find out what this Ultimate Edition Undertaker action figure is all about. So here's our Legends Ultimate Edition Undertaker out of the packaging, man, and I am really liking what I'm seeing so far out of this figure. I'm intrigued with it, all the bells and whistles, man. I mean, just standing there on the rotating base, it gets my blood going, man. I mean, he looks he looks damn menacing. He looks like a phenom. I'm loving a lot of the features that you get with this figure, and I am very excited for it. I, I like to tell you that right off cuff. I am excited for it, man. So what we're going to do is dive into the Undertaker's accessories first, and then we'll take a closer look at the figure of the Undertaker Ultimate Edition himself. So getting into Undertaker's accessories, Accessories for an Ultimate Edition, I think it's going to check off that entire benchmark. You know, we talk about that benchmark all the time. Cloth goods, interchangeable heads, championship belt. You got yourselves an Ultimate Edition most of the time. But one of my favorite parts about this figure is actually going to be these head sculpts. And I think one of my favorite ones is this new. We have two brand new head sculpts going on with this Ultimate Edition. And I like this one a lot. I think the eyes are perfectly printed. I like the likeness. I think it fits that perfect era of Undertaker. You have the eye black around the eyes or the makeup around the eyes. I think this has good, strong likeness and I like the sculpt and everything, and it looks and sits very well on the figure itself, which I think is also a bonus, but they did a great job here with this Undertaker head sculpt in particular. Then we have the one that probably gets the most drug online, and I think it's just because the eyes are a little bit misprinted. Every figure I've seen so far of this, the eyes are a little off, and I think it's this left eye. If this left eye was not kind of this, I don't know if it's like kind of droopy looking or something, but it's a little bit off, and you, you can see when you do it like that, look how like weird it looks. It's not my favorite. It's definitely not my favorite, but I don't know. I definitely like the other one in comparison for sure, but it's just like this one has a little bit of a goofiness looking on. I can kind of see, like, if you cover the right side maybe. But look at that right there. That looks a lot better, but then when you pull this eye in there, it kind of throws it all off. So I don't know, but not a bad head sculpt. It's just, I think, the misprints and maybe the sculpt's not quite right or something, but the last head sculpt is one we've seen before, and it is the basic 100 head sculpt, I think, that they've used a few different times in different figures, but it is the tongue out sort of celebration or put you to death, you know, tombstone pile driver, see ya to hell. Undertaker head sculpt, which is great. The tongue sculpt's great. The likeness, everything about it. This is one of the better Undertaker head sculpts you'll find. I know it's, you know, he's a, I always say, why is he yelling? He's not really yelling here, but more of, uh, he's casting you through the damn shadow realm. One of my favorite elites of the Undertaker that Mattel's ever done is the WrestleMania 32 figure, and I always liked it because of the trench coat, and we've gotten the same trench coat multiple times for Mattel, but this is pretty much a one-of-one -one copy of that, and it's this faux leather material, and it's very good. It's not necessarily stretchy, but you could probably tear a hole in it so I'd be careful with it, but it's such a good execution. It looks so good on the figure. It's just awesome. It fits the figure very well. I love this. Anytime we get Undertaker with a trench coat, it's always money, and it has to be cloth goods here, so this is just the best. This is absolutely the best. They could have, they probably could have done sculpted arms, and maybe the next time we get an Undertaker Ultimate, they probably will do sculpted jacket arms with a trench coat like this, but I like cloth goods over the molded jacket every single time. And what would his trench coat be without his signature cowboy hat or his entrance hat, which makes him look so damn menacing? 
another hat that we've seen, same mold that we've seen before as well, but I'm just glad it's not warped or anything. It's very nice, high quality right out of the packaging for you, and it fits all the head sculpts pretty good here, so that's all you can really ask for, man. I mean, look at that right there. You put the, the hat on there, and he looks like he is about to take your soul. And then also with this figure, we get the World Heavyweight Championship, which I've been begging for years for them to change the mold of this. I think the plate could be thinner. They could do some different things, but at least it's accurate. You got the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. It looks good. It always looks good. This is one of my favorite titles of all time, so I'll take a big gold every single day of the damn week, but this is a really nice championship to include. And then for his interchangeable hands, we do get the mic holding style hands right here with the glove and everything, which is nice sculpts, and it does have black pegs. And for a long time, we never got fists with our Undertaker, but we finally got some fists included with our Undertaker with the glove mold, and they're so good. They, these work for Lesnar and stuff like that, but having these with Undertaker so you can beat the hell out of you in the ring, you love to see that. You know what he's using these for. And then I shish you not, one of my favorite accessories is this pre-choke slam sort of relaxed or celebrating, you know, raising the dead style hand, which is so good. When I tell you this is one of my favorite accessories, I'm not lying. This is so good, dude. I love the sort of relaxed open glove hand. It's just so good, man. I, I love this a lot. This is fantastic work here. And it's it's a beast. It's, these are amazing. And I love all the different options you can use with these hands. So, shout out to Mattel. And they're also big, man. They, they kind of capture the likeness and the massiveness of the Undertaker's hands, which is a great detail. So, getting into the Undertaker, starting out the head sculpt, you'll see what I'm talking about. I just think it looks so good in comparison, like, how the head sits on the neck and on the body of the figure. They did a really good job here, man, really capturing that Undertaker likeness. I like this head sculpt. I don't really, I, I don't hate it. I think it looks pretty good, man. But you'll notice right here on the shoulder, I definitely am getting some looseness in my butterfly joints. I haven't really had that happen with a lot of the more recent Ultimates. I used to get it a lot on my Ultimate Editions, but I know there's some hacks to fix that, but that's certainly annoying. That's something you want to look out for. But we do have this torso here, which is the singlet torso, which I think looks pretty good for Undertaker. I think it could be a little bit bigger, possibly, but it's certainly better than that first Ultimate Edition, you know, or super massive. But the bigger shoulders and arms just look so good on the Undertaker, man. But going down, we do have the gauntlets on the sides, which are nice. I like the large elbow pad here. Then we have pretty much the Elite 8 Undertaker from the legs down. You have the same graphics that we've seen a few times now on Undertaker right here with this little bat goblin skull thing. But it has like the, you know, the demon head and it's got like the red wings going on, which looks good. No pinless joints here, which is fantastic. So you guys know that it's not going to get super tight and super loose on you. And then he has his standard boots with the Ultimate Edition foot articulation here at the bottom, but they are the tall boots there. They could have probably given him the kick pads look as well, but I guess this does match the era. But this figure just feels really good, man. It feels really good. Outside of the shoulder over here, I mean, it's going to be able to pose around and do all the things you need, man. I mean, he can do like cross arms over here, which is cool. Of course, he can pull this back. He has, you know, the Ultimates never really have a good diaphragm. You know, they never get a good torso cut in there, but you get your standard head articulation. No ball hinge, unfortunately, maybe one day, but he does have drop down hips and he can do a pretty decent big boot right there, man. Look at that big boot. That's a damn nice big boot right there, I'd say, but always be careful putting that back, but you do get the splits and everything. You got to be careful again, but you have the upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, which is not pinless, so it's very buttery smooth there, and then you get the boot rotation. You have the ankle and the toe articulation, but yeah, this figure, look at that, how weird that looks, man. Those damn extended legs, man. Drop down hips. I don't know. I just think that they need to perfect it in some way or just make it, I don't, I don't know what the hell to do, but I'm really enjoying the hell out of this Undertaker. Just look how menacing he looks right there standing. I just love the build of the figure. He just looks like he's about to, I don't know, kill you. So for your Undertaker figure comparisons, we have the Ultimate Edition Legends figure in the middle, and then to the right of the figure, you have the original Elite 8, which you'll see is matching in gear, and then to the right of that, you'll have the Greatest Hits Undertaker, which is a re-release of the Elite 8, but they did give us a new head sculpt, which I swapped for this tongue out head sculpt on Action Figure Surgery. So basically, this is an Elite version of this Ultimate, but I think this looks better because the formula's better, man. I just like how jacked and big this looks in comparison. I like how this looks more beefy for an Undertaker, but you'll see it's all three the same gear, but they did make the graphics bigger on the Ultimate, which is more accurate, so they did upgrade the size of the decals. But then on our left here, we do have the first Ultimate Undertaker, and then we have the Amazon exclusive Gobbledygooker 2-pack Undertaker right here, which is also Ultimate. So this is our third Ultimate Undertaker, and all three of them are from separate eras, and this one's easily my favorite. And again, man, this might be my favorite Undertaker Mattel figure of all time. I really am enjoying the hell out of this figure. It's a beast, man. What a great figure that we have right here. And then for some more comparisons, we do have the Ultimate Edition Kane over here to the left, and then on the right, we do have the WrestleMania 26 Elite Shawn Michaels figure with the double jointed arms. I think it's the WrestleMania 38, WrestleMania 26 HBK. I hate it when I always refer to a WrestleMania Elite wave because they always make it a certain WrestleMania wave. So WrestleMania 38 was this Shawn, but it was WrestleMania 26, so you have to follow it up with WrestleMania whatever, WrestleMania whatever, whoever the hell the talent is. So that's always a thing, but I'm loving the hell out of this figure, man. It's a beast. Bar 
barring loose butterfly joints and maybe a couple of loose hands here and there, man, that's a damn good Undertaker. But I think that about wraps up our WWE Ultimate Edition Target Exclusive Legends Undertaker action figure from Mattel. And I gotta say, I love this Undertaker. I think that if I sat down and thought about it really hard and wrote all down, you know, my favorite Undertakers that Mattel has done, I think this would be one of the top ones, man. I mean, it may even be the best Undertaker that they've ever done. And it, hell, it, I don't want to be crazy, but this might be the best Undertaker action figure ever. I really do like this. Now, I will say there's a bit of a there's some issues with it that aren't perfect, and I'll explain here, man. I think that the butterfly joints are a little loose. At least the arms are in there. I think there are some tweaks you can make to kind of fix that. I know that there's like some hacks and different stuff you can do to try and lock those down and make them not as loose. And then his hands, these newer hands here, which I love, by the way. These are so damn good. They're they're bigger. They look great. I mean, you could do like a pretty choke slam. You got the celebration here, like a relaxed, chilling stance. So many things you can do there for The Undertaker, but I would say that the hands get a little bit loose as well. Well, and again, there's probably some hacks out there that you could use to fix that. And I know we've seen this attire multiple times over from Mattel, but at the end of the day, I don't really give a damn about that. I think this figure is such good execution. I love the bigger shoulders, the bigger arms. Torso could possibly be bigger slightly, maybe, but I don't even care. I think that this is such a badass Undertaker. I think that one of my head sculpts, if the eyes weren't off-printed by a little bit, they would be money. I like that kind of just, like, I don't know, the eyes are a bit wrong on the one, but the one where he's kind of gritting his teeth a little bit, I love a lot. This one is a reuse head sculpt, but it's such a good one. It, I mean, look at it. It just really captures everything going on with The Undertaker, so I don't really have any butts about that, but I love this Undertaker, and I think you should grab it. This is a seal of approval. It's such a good Undertaker. Such a great, like, perfect representation of Undertaker, especially when he was getting into his later years. This is a perfect, perfect, man. I love the coat. I love the hat. I love it. This is a fantastic piece and it's going to be in my top Ultimate Editions of the year when it's all said and done. I guarantee it. He'll make the top 10 Ultimates of the year. I guess that remains to be seen, but we'll have to see about that as it all plays out. But I am very satisfied with this Undertaker, and I think you guys will be too. So go over to Target, pick this thing up, and get it, man. Absolutely 100%. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up our Undertaker Ultimate Edition review, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on the figure down below. And again, we are going to San Diego Comic-Con. If you guys are going to be at Comic-Con or you see me around at Comic-Con, I'll definitely be around for at least probably three, four days there, man. Definitely speak or whatever the case is, man. I greatly appreciate it. You know, whatever you want to do, chat and figures and stuff, man. But I think that is going to wrap it up, man. Huge shout out to our Patreon members. Thank you guys so very much, as always, for the support. You guys are absolutely lovely, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>